Real Madrid 3, Barcelona 2, a goal by Jude Bellingham in the last moments of the game. What did it feel like when Jude Bellingham scored and how was that Real Madrid performance? It was the best night of my life. Oh. I'm married. Oh. <laughs> I hope my wife doesn't listen to this, but this is the best night of my life. Like, I took all the way to come here and it was like, I watched two games before and both the games were uh, drawn in like 1-1. And yeah. like I was hoping this game was unbelievable, like from 0-1 to 1-1 and 1-2 to 2-2 and then 3-2. At the 90th minute, this was unbelievable. This is just like Real Madrid style, I guess. Yeah, uh, this is well, yeah. crazy, like unbelievable. Unbelievable. The very fact that I got to know one more reason how Jude Bellingham can be more pleasurable to watch, even if you're married. Um, but uh, next question goes about Lucas Vasquez, man. That guy scored a crazy penalty against Man City in the quarterfinals. Uh, today, won the penalty, scored the goal, had the assist. What was that performance like by him? And were you scared when Danny Carvalho was not named in the starting lineup? I think I was not like scared because like I know the potential of like Lucas Vasquez. He is like a true Madrid star and like he can carry the game. And like I was not like surprised at all. But like I think uh, he always comes back and like you know he scores the goals and like he's there. Like he 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 breathes through Madrid Madrid like unbelievable. Unbelievable. He's Todo Madrileño and Madridismo and Madridista combined, all the three words that are like the fundamental basis of Real Madrid. You know, Vinny Jr. scored a penalty but missed a lot of crucial chances. An off day or do you really expect him to like step up and score more in big games? I think it was his off day because like in the first half like I was seeing like he was he wanted to assist but like you know it went against his kind of wish and in the second half he wanted to score but like he could have assisted the ball uh, rather I think it was just his off day but I think he still like scored the penalty which yeah. is still crucial and uh, like scoring penalties is very important in the Clasico and I think uh, he's still like he I, I'm sure like he will, he's going to play amazing in the upcoming games and yeah we need has to step up. Yeah. Like not not step up has to be more critical against Bayern, especially. I think the sand coming in. Uh, uh, the impact of Brahim and uh, Fran Garcia when they came on the bench. Uh, credits to Carlo Ancelotti for making those changes and impacting the game in a very positive way. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, you, you can clearly see the impact of Fran Garcia because like once he came. Uh, Lam uh, yeah, like Lamal was not like taking uh, any kind of like crazy moves and he was not taking risk at all. And like Franz Ga uh, Fran Garcia is like super quick and he can definitely cover and you could see the impact of the game like, you know, reduced in the left wing. And uh, also like... Uh, in a way, like Kamavinga was a mismatch against uh, Yamal today, you know. Yeah, I, I mean like, you know, probably uh, they, they would have opted for Mendy, but like since Mendy was not available, like they had to go with uh, uh, Kamavinga definitely. But he, he still played like a good game. The pressure was there like he took it and also with uh, Brahim Diaz he, he he's always like a fresh pair of legs and I think he still has some kind of like unluck going on and I'm sure like you know he's going to score big and um, definitely. yeah definitely and very fact that Fran Garcia has managed to take opportunities whenever been given to him by Carlo Ancelotti so before you go my friend who was your man of the match and why my man of the match was uh, actually Valverde because I think uh, he was like super underrated uh, he was like running off his lungs and like you know I think just in April he has like played more than I don't know like 300 for about like 400 minutes it's crazy like you know he he's he's kind of like an engine he's carrying through the game and second would probably be Bellingham but uh, I think I, I'll go for Valverde. Fede Valverde yes yeah. definitely these are things uh, we don't mention Fede enough because Jude got the moment uh, Lucas had the Vasquez had the most impact but yeah definitely man thank you thank you so much for talking to us it was a pleasure thank you campeones campeones ole 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 one hand on the trophy Definitely. Two Definitely. hands on the trophy. Two hands on the trophy. Very confident. Thank you.